I'm going to look now at summarizing two quantitative variables, and I'm going to set look at price by square feet, expecting that the larger the home, the higher the price. So the first thing I have up here is just to change my MF row back to 1-1. One, one. Earlier in this data set, I had it 1-2. So this just means I'm going to put everything in one pane. Drop that back over. Um, I'm going to let M equal the mean of price. I'll explain why in just a minute, but just bear with me. And then I'm going to plot price by square feet. Now you can see I have a scatter plot with square feet and price. Actually, I think I'm going to do one thing here. I'm going to come back here and say y lim, that's the limits for the y axis, is equal to c actually I'm going to put minus 25. Just I want to, the point here is I want to have an x x or a y axis that includes zero. So I'm going to go a little bit below there, and I guess I'll go up to maybe let's say 300, a little bit beyond the bound, the upper bound of y. Now we can see that a little bit more accurately where things are at and that we have a true zero point. Okay, so now this AB line, LM price tilde square feet, what I'm going to do is put a, just plot the best fit line for this, and that LM stands for linear model, so it's going to give me the, the model and then the line with that. So there we have that. Up here I did M equals mean price, this AB line is going to put another line on, and I want the a, a line that's a horizontal line that's equal to the mean of uh, the y's or the mean of price here. That kind of gives me a sense of how much better the regression line does than if I were just using the mean of y. If I didn't have no square feet, I would just guess average price is uh, looks like about a hundred hundred thousand, a little less. But now, by knowing square feet, I could draw this line, and now, depending on what the square feet are, I would make a prediction, not at the mean, but at the regression line. You don't always put that on there. I did it mainly for uh, to illustrate what's going on there. I will do that again from time to time when we do other things. Okay, just to tell you, that depending on when you're watching this, we may not have computed covariance or correlation yet. But I'm going to go ahead and just show you here how to get those. COV is covariance. This gives you some indication of how X and Y, or in this case, square feet and price move together. And since it's a positive number, you can see that that's a positive relation. The size of that number is hard to evaluate unless you were using another data set with square feet and price. So that's why we compute correlation. But that's an index that will always be between minus one and one. Uh, we'll talk more about that in class and that if we have if we haven't already. So I'm going to hit run. That's going to be a number between minus one and one. That's a positive number. It's 0.8. So fairly strong linear relationship. The closer to one, one would be at every point exactly on the line. The closer to one or minus one if it were moving in a downward with a downward slope would tell you that there was a strong relationship. Okay, so this next one, I'm going to create an object. I'm just going to call it A. You can call it anything. In fact, probably a better name would be Model or Model 1, just in case you're going to run other uh, regression models or linear models in a, in a particular run. So I'll call that Model 1 and hit Run. And you won't see anything. I, you see Model 1 come up here. This tells you that we have an object up here call model, model 1, you have to hit summary then to get the actual output, and that's going to come up here. At this point, the only thing that probably would make sense to you, we'll get to more of this later, is where it says coefficients and you have estimate. That first one is 3.06, that is the y-intercept, so we're down here. That's Since these are in thousands of dollars, that's really uh, $30,000. Of course, that really doesn't make sense. You don't have any houses with zero square feet. But if you extended beyond the data, you, that's 
where it would cross the y-axis. And then uh, the point 0.065 is the slope of this line. 